Hello, welcomes to PCCL. We will see three situations in which a solid body is submitted to three forces. The first solid is an air cushion puck. It is used when you want to get rid of friction. Draw the vectors modeling the forces exerted on this object. We have little information apparently to be able to answer this question. Yet we have plenty of clues. The weight of the body acts in vertically downward. In the absence of friction the reaction is normal to the surface, that is to say perpendicular. The scale reads 2.5 newtons. The line of action is given by the rod and the axis of the spring. Finally, because the system is balanced in the laboratory reference frame, the sum of forces is zero. This is the principle of inertia or Newton's first law. We can also say that each vector is opposite to the sum of the other two. We will see that here. For construction, we first build a known vector, the force of the spring scale. We mark the opposite minus F because the sum of the other two must be opposed to F. The square first slides on the rule. We can build a parallelogram. We measure 8.6 cm for one, 10 cm for the other. We apply the given scale and we get the forces. It is a graphic method. Another graphical method consists in drawing F, the known force, and on both sides, assigning it the lines of action which are also known, to obtain a triangle. We measure, it is perhaps faster, to obtain the same answers. This is the second technique. Another example here with another solid body. It is a parcel that does not want to fall. He is in balance. I know its weight. And we are asked for the magnitudes. We are given the value of the angle. Which is 30 degrees. So, it's the same. For the weight we know the line of action. And we know the magnitude. The ground surface acts to prevent movement. Its action is exactly opposite to weight. I choose to break it down in two directions, the normal direction and the direction parallel to the surface, so Rn and Rt. In the exercises we can often give you the lowercase letter f as it is the first letter of the word friction. The system is in equilibrium in the terrestrial frame of reference, therefore the sum of the forces is zero. I repeat what I said earlier, except that the force that is known here is weight. With this scale 40 newtons are represented by 8 centimeters. I mark its opposite. And I'm going to look for the other two forces by drawing parallels. Rn here, and the friction force there, to obtain once measured. 6.8 centimeters to say that it is 34 newtons. 20 newtons for the friction force. Another technique. That of added vectors end to end that I mentioned earlier. The same results are obtained. Analytical method. The angle that is here is found there. We are given a coordinate system OX, OY. Here are the coordinates of W in this frame, the projections in this system, W times the sine of alpha on the opposite side, and minus W times the cosine of alpha on the adjacent side. Moreover, we have Rn whose projections are 0 and Rn on these two axes. 0 in X because Rn follows this axis. For the friction force, it is 0 in Y since the force is all in the direction and minus F in X. The sum of the forces is zero, so the sum of the projections on OX is zero, the same for OY. It tells us that F equals W times the sine of 30 degrees. Rn equals W times the cosine of 30 degrees. And here is the result with this technique. Another example. It is not a balance, but it is the same for the reasoning, for the tracing of the forces since it is a question of a uniform rectilinear movement, and that the principle of inertia tells us that the sum of the forces will be zero, for the weight, the line of action. 
the fact that there are two reaction forces, normal reaction and tangential reaction, known as the friction force. We know that the sum of the forces is zero. And we know that the angle that is here is the one that is there. It is the same. Why? Because they have the same complementary angle, beta. Armed with this information, we are going to do an exercise that I would like a little interactive, namely that I will involve you. To play the game, you will have to stop the video to answer before me. This is the game. So, here I place the forces while respecting only the lines of action and the directions. That is to say that I do not know the magnitudes. But I will look for them, these magnitudes with the analytical method, projection method. That's the coordinate system here, OX, OY. There is some data at the top, very important. M equals 70 kilograms and G equals 10 newton per kilogram. So the weight will be 700 newtons. Easy. The angle which is there, alpha equals 21 degrees. So I show you the proposals. You choose, you stop the video if you want and I answer afterwards. Me. I say that here it is worth minus F we did it earlier, it's a little bit the same. So here 0 for the same reasons as for the parcel in balance on the inclined plane. Here is our N. and Rn equals 0 following the OX since it is perpendicular to it. And Rn here since it is following OY. For the weight therefore, we spoke about it earlier, in X, Mg times the sine of alpha. Why sinus? Because I do the projection on the opposite side. And so you may have already understood, minus mg times the cosine of alpha for the projection here the minus sine is because oy here is upwards, principle of inertia the sum of the forces is zero. The algebraic sum of the projections must therefore be zero. So you got it. Minus f plus mg times the sine of alpha equals zero. And for the other it will be Rn minus Mg times the cosine of alpha equals zero. Where is it? It's the first. So what to choose here? You stopped. So, I can give you the answer now that you have found. It's the first. Mg times the cosine of alpha. That's 651 newtons. And mg times the sine of alpha. That's 252 newtons. I keep only two significant digits and I allow myself the scientific writing. That's it for this video. Thank you.